Hello everybody, welcome back to Women on a Recovery Mission. Today, I want us to look into a particular subject. Weaknesses in marriage, both in the man and in the woman. Yes, both men and women. There are weaknesses that we have that we cannot control. Don't forget, nobody is born perfect. But by the grace of God and with prayers, we can overcome some weaknesses. In a marriage, a woman has her own weakness. A man has his own weakness. So what we need to do is to encourage the man or the man we encourage the woman not a lot not the woman will be you know exposing the weaknesses of the man or the man will be exposing the weaknesses of the woman it can't work that way don't forget that weakness is the weapon the enemy is using to destroy a lot of believers a man that is great a prominent man might have this weakness he might not even know it's people around him that we know but you as a wife once you find out these weaknesses in your husband all you need to do is to help him find a way he will overcome it you as a man when you find any weaknesses in your wife you don't need to shout at him at her all you need to do is look for a way and support her. The Bible says in Acts chapter 20 verse 35 that if you support one another, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Give in your support. You cannot wash each other. You cannot be there and wash your husband in that weaknesses. You, the man, cannot be there and watch the woman in these weaknesses. It will make the marriage not to be fruitful. And when you take these weaknesses outside, you will disgrace yourself. Weakness is a hidden tool and it can kill silently. So what you need to do is, as a couple, when you identify these weaknesses, you take it to God in prayers. You support yourself. Whenever you as the woman, you, you, you see the man doing that habit. Maybe he comes back from work, he removes his shoe anyhow. That is his weakness. All you need to do is to pick the shoe, arrange it very well. Then later, look for a means to talk to him about it. The same thing applies to the man. Don't always tell their weaknesses the, the, the man weaknesses to him at his face. He will feel embarrassed. Same thing with the word, with the man. Don't tell the woman's weaknesses to her face. She will feel embarrassed. Whenever you see what your wife is doing, and you know that this is her weakness, correct her with love. Don't shout at her. This is not what she can handle. But with prayer, everything will be possible. When you as a woman, you notice the weaknesses of your husband, don't shout at him. Correct him with love. Look for a way to talk to him so that he will not feel offended. And also take it to God in prayers. And you know, weaknesses is something that is personal. It's something that is personal. So all you need to do is you as individual, you also try to work on yourself. Don't always bring, don't, don't allow your weakness to, to make you weak or to overpower you. Talk to God in prayer. Don't only, only, only kill the lion in you. Kill the lions around you. Every weakness is. Work on yourself to physically take away the weaknesses. Work on yourself spiritually to, to take away the weaknesses. So that the marriage will blossom. Because some weaknesses is very dangerous to, to, to the marriages. Some weaknesses is very, very bad. It can cause a marriage 
to be damaged. So what I am encouraging the couples today, both the man and the woman, is to help each other. According to Acts chapter 20 verse 35, help each other overcome this. Give your love, give your support, give your prayers, give your care. Don't be tired. That is what the devil just wants to use to scatter that family. That is what the devil wants to use to scatter your marriage. And I pray that he will not succeed. Don't, there is nothing God cannot do. Take every weaknesses to God in prayer. Take every bad habit to God in prayer. And I know that he will disgrace the hand of the enemy. Women, don't take your husband's weaknesses outside to discuss with your friends. Men, please don't take your wife's weaknesses to discuss outside with your friends. Come together as a team. Pray about it. There is nothing God cannot do. And I know. That when you come together as a family to pray to God about it, God will give you victory over every weaknesses that want to destroy your home. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Listen to my messages. Like my page. Follow me on Facebook, Women on a Recovery Mission. Follow me on Instagram, She's Rita. Until I see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.